Hello and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, perform the principal component analysis in two statistical software uh, RStudio and uh, its data. So the first uh, part of this video will be uh, focused on the implementation of the principal component analysis in RStudio, showing you how to, uh, to uh, gather data in order to run principal component analysis, how to the uh, Hagen to compute Hagen values uh, as well as the histogram, how to uh, uh, plot uh, individual uh, correlation cycle as well as individual representation and its data. In the second part of this video, we will show you as well how to implement this methodology as well as how to use the principal component analysis in order to. Uh, Build an indicator or an index using uh, the result of the PCA. At the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, publication. And uh, let us start with uh, implementation of the principal component analysis in RSP. And uh, as you know, the principal component analysis is a uh, method of uh, dimension reduction in, uh, that is used in order to uh, summarize information contained in a database containing uh, many variables in uh, such uh, in some individual. So in this uh, tutorial, we have a uh, data set in containing uh, information related to the uh, household and uh, we have uh, for the purpose of this uh, video we have 12 households with information on the revenue the uh, consumption expenditure we have a uh, number of household member we have the professional experience in here we have as well a uh, level of study so in this video we're going to demonstrate how to uh, you can use the principal component analysis in order to uh, to uh, summarize individual characteristics according to uh, the uh, realization, realization of some variables. So, uh, for uh, uh, already import my data set, we have uh, uh, first of all to define the, uh, the variable in which uh, that we are going to use in order to uh, run our principal component analysis. And for this uh, purpose, I have. Uh, I will uh, generate a variable, a, a variable, uh, a matrix called data by concatenating a uh, variable like uh, used in my uh, data set, like uh, revenue. Uh, I will concatenate revenue, consumption expenditure, number of household member, uh, professional experience in the year, and uh, level of study. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, primary, secondary, and uh, uh, high, higher education. So coming back in our uh, package, uh, we'll first of all uh, use the concatenation. We'll uh, concatenate uh, our different variable as I said, using uh, the command cbind, uh, cbind uh, base, or uh, uh, meaning that we're going to use the data set this uh, dollar sign, uh, which uh, followed by the name of our first uh, variable, which is the revenue. So uh, our second variable is uh, consumption expenditure. We use the uh, base dollar followed by the name of the variable, and so on for all other variables. So I will use this command uh, in order to concatenate my. Uh, my different uh, variable. So uh, here is a command. So uh, it's the first time you are watching one of my videos. Do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I click on uh, well as well as uh, activate, activating the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. So uh, in uh, principal component analysis, one uh, package is required. So the package required in Principal component analysis is uh, factor mine R. So factor mine R is a package.
page that you need to install in your R Studio if you want to uh, perform the principal component analysis. And here is a command to install uh, install dot uh, packages uh, brackets uh, factor min into uh, quotation mark. So uh, as you have uh, installed your package factor mine R, you just use a uh, charge or library in, uh, in R Studio. So uh, the package uh, factor mine R is already uh, charged in my R Studio. The first step is to perform uh, properly the principal component analysis and, and give it my the name uh, result dot PCA for a result of principal component analysis that I will assign the value uh, of the function that is used to uh, perform the principal component analysis PCA uh, bracket. The first parameter is the uh, data set that I use that is data which is the concatenation of uh, my different, different variable of my uh, data set and we have graph is equal to uh, false. So I uh, select the uh, principal component analysis implementation and then click on run and the principal component analysis method have been uh, implemented in my uh, R studio. So the next steps are just to uh, uh, perform the uh, Hagen values computing. We have to visualize uh, as well as uh, as well uh, variable with the same variable. So first of all, let us uh, uh, Compute the uh, uh, Hagen value of um, our, our estimate of our principal component analysis by using the command res.pca dollar because my uh, principal component analysis results is called res.pca. So I follow the name of our uh, principal component analysis by the dollar symbol and pay for uh, Hagen value. So then uh, we select our command and then click on run and our uh, Hagen value have been computed and you can see that the first component uh, Hagen value is uh, 3.3.3 uh, 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 representing uh, 70 as uh, almost 70 percent of uh, the cumulative variance uh, uh, the second component uh, principal uh, Hagen value is uh, 1.05, representing uh, more than 20% of uh, of uh, cumulative percentage of variance. So uh, here is our uh, Hagen uh, value percentage. We can as well uh, represent uh, the Hagen value. Uh, Visualize our Hagen value by using the uh, by representing a bar plot using the command uh, Hagen value uh, uh, PCA uh, uh, bar uh, by using our bar chart uh, bar plot. Uh, here is the command. Then we just select it and then click on run. And we see in our uh, right hand side uh, the um, variance explained by PCA here is the first component that represents almost 70% uh, of, uh, of variance second axis represent 20% uh, and the interpretation that we can uh, uh, have on this uh, we can also as well uh, represent the line uh, add a line to our uh, our uh, Hagen value uh, visualization so we can see that there is a line that uh, uh, is used to uh, describe the evolution of uh, the decline of our, our principal component and our, our principal axis principal component and the interpretation for our uh, Hagen value uh, that uh, uh, the third, the third axis, the third component have a uh, a Hagen value that is less than average uh, Hagen value, meaning that the, uh, we can uh, just uh, 
lose the first two components because uh, the third component uh, represent less than a average uh, variance of the uh, of our sample. So we just use the uh, first two components in order to analyze our our um, our individual. So uh, as we have just uh, plot a uh, eigen value. Uh, Graph, you can just uh, represent the individual graph by plotting the uh, individual graph using the plot for uh, uh, our principal component analysis uh, result uh, using uh, the choice is uh, individual or IND for individual auto, uh, uh, auto lab is yes, then we click on run. And we can see that our, uh, our individual will uh, just be represented in the uh, left hand side of our RStudio interface. So we have a representation of our individual that are uh, uh, just uh, in the, uh, first, uh, the first two components, the first plan. So we have, uh, we can. Uh, have a group of, uh, according to our uh, graph, uh, individual graph, we can uh, set two uh, principal group of individual. The first group, uh, the one on the left hand side, and we can also have a second group of individual here, according to the uh, to the characteristics. So we can uh, uh, as well plot the. Uh, Correlation circle, circle representing the uh, correlation between variables using plot uh, result principal component analysis. Uh, uh, schwa is equal to uh, var for variable uh, plot. So then we click on run and the correlation circle will uh, appear in the left hand side of our R Studio interface and we can just interpret our variable. You can see that variable 1 and variable 2, variable 1, variable 2 and 5 are uh, highly correlated and well represent in the uh, in the first uh, plan. First plan because uh, the uh, arrow are very close to the, to the circle. The correlation is high and what is variable uh, Two, one, two, and five. Variable one, two, and five. Our variable one is the revenue. Variable two is uh, consumption expenditure. Revenue and consumption expenditure are highly correlated. We have uh, our variable five, which is uh, professional experience, that is uh, highly correlated to uh, the revenue and. Uh, Consumption expenditure. So uh, most you are you are you have uh, uh, so no uh, variable five is a uh, level of uh, one two three four five level of study and level of study. Uh, the most you are level of study is higher. The uh, your revenue is uh, also higher and uh, uh, consumption expenditure are uh, uh, involved the same uh, manner so uh, but we can notice that our variable two and three are negatively uh, correlated but negatively and what are variable two, uh, two and three our variable two and three are uh, consumption expenditure and number of member household household member so household member are uh, highly correlated but negatively so let us come back in our principal component analysis uh, so we can uh, present uh, information uh, for uh, individual by using the common uh, result variable by uh, assigning to the result variable uh, the value uh, res dot pca uh, dollar sign uh, variable so uh, r result dot PCA is the result of our PCA. We follow it by the dollar sign and bar to mean that uh, we can assign to that the result of uh, our 
different variables. Let us select that and click on run. And we have the result of our variable and we can represent, uh, for example, the coordinate of uh, our uh, variable on the uh, different component. So uh, as we have uh, run this command, we can see that uh, uh, variable have very uh, high in absolute value uh, uh, coordinate in the first axis. Uh, uh, all variable, uh, but not uh, variable four. But variable four have uh, also higher coordinate in the dimension two. So. Uh, that confirm the fact that uh, dimension one and two can be used in order to uh, represent our our individual. So we can also have the result for the uh, contribution of uh, individual on uh, as we are on variable. We can have the uh, contribution of variable on the different uh, component uh, result dot bar dollar sign country to say that we. Uh, we uh, compute the uh, contribution of uh, our variable result on different axes and we can see that uh, the results are here. So the contribution of individual variable two, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 5 are very high in the uh, first dimension. But uh, variable 4 that is very uh, slow in the first dimension is very well uh, contribute uh, highly in the second axis. So, uh, they, they can also confirm the, the, the information that uh, we uh, the first two axes are sufficient to uh, summarize all the information in our database. So we, if we want to come to uh, bring, for example, a, an indicator using our data set to uh, classify our individual, we, we must we can use only uh, the first two uh, the first two components in order to. Uh, Analyze to compute our indicator. So uh, we can also uh, have the quality of uh, uh, representation of our variable in axis using the uh, cosine square. Uh, that is uh, also a result of, of our variable followed by the sim dollar symbol and cos to, uh, to materialize the cos square of uh, cosine square of our. Our individual of our variable in the uh, axis. So uh, we can also notice that uh, variable one, two, three, and five uh, highly contributed to the first axis, first dimension, uh, and the variable for that have a very uh, weak uh, contribution to the uh, first dimension, contribute uh, very highly to the second our second dimension. So we can also confirm here the uh, information that uh, the first two dimension can be, uh, the first two axes can be returned in our uh, principal component analysis as we have presented the uh, uh, individual result can also, our uh, variable result can also represent individual result by the uh, First of all, computing individual result called uh, rest dot uh, ind uh, to which we assign the uh, value result uh, for uh, PCA followed by the dollar symbol and uh, I the reserve word ind to say that here is uh, the result for the uh, individual of our principal component analysis. For the result of our principal component analysis, let's click on run. You can see that the uh, result of individual for our principal component analysis have been already computed. We have a look at the uh, coordinate of our individual on the axis. So let's click on run. We have the coordinate of all our, our 12 individual on the uh, first two axes. So we can also interpret as uh, we did it for our variable. We can also have the contribution of our uh, individual on the axis as we did it for our variable. And we can see that there are some individuals that are well represented uh, that have contribute highly to the uh, first axis. But those who have a, a slow contribution to the first axis uh, have uh, generally a good contribution to the uh, 
the second axis. So uh, you can also have the posting mean square for uh, for individual, as we did for the uh, uh, for the. Uh, for variable, we have you can notice that all our individual are uh, well represent the dimension, the first dimension of our principal component analysis. So that's it for this uh, video, and we hope this video have very well help you understand how to uh, implement the principal component analysis. data set containing information on uh, a, some individual uh, especially uh, 12 individual uh, with information in revenue uh, consumption number of household member uh, professional experience and the level of study so we'll use this data set in order to uh, summarize information in uh, uh, individual uh, uh, socioeconomic information on individual and finally we'll show you how to use this information in order to uh, to calculate an indicator that will uh, give us uh, information about uh, the level of the household so we have 12 household and we will build the principal component analysis using Stera in order to build an indicator. So if the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. So coming back into our principal component analysis to run it in Stera is quite simple. Just go in statistics and then uh, uh, drop down to uh, more uh, multiple multivariate analysis and then uh, choose a uh, factor and principal component analysis and then finally choose a uh, principal component analysis click on ok and uh, the next step is to select a variable to include in the PCA so the first variable will uh, drop individual will uh, use uh, revenue uh, consumption expenditure a number of household member professional experience and uh, level of study those five variables will be used in our principal component analysis so as we have selected all our variable we just need to click on ok and then uh, you will see the uh, principal result of our principal component analysis, uh, especially uh, Hagen value table and uh, the principal comp uh, vector, uh, vector coordinate in the five uh, axes, uh, five component, principal component. So that we can see that uh, our first uh, component uh, have uh, cumulative, uh, have uh, represent. Uh, almost 70 percent of information contained in our sample the second component have uh, 10 percent and the cumulative proportion is 90 percent so if we use the uh, kaizen uh, criteria we will keep uh, all axes that have at least the mean uh, proportion the mean proportion is 100 divided by 5 that is 20 percent so we keep axes that uh, have uh, more than 20 percent uh, um, 20 percent that contain almost 20 percent of information in uh, in the sample so we will keep the first and the second component in order to make our principal component analysis so further uh, information we can have on our principal of component analysis are uh, for example uh, Hagen value plot so we go in statistics then uh, multivariate analysis and then click on uh, multi uh, factor uh, and principal component 
and choose post estimation then uh, we can uh, choose uh, the uh, screen plot of Hagen values click on OK and then we'll uh, then click on OK and we can see that uh, the screen plot of our principal component of our Hagen value are there can also uh, have some uh, post estimation uh, information in multivariate analysis factor and principal component analysis principle uh, post estimation and uh, we can uh, have a variable plot so in graph that we plot all our variable in the first two components we can choose uh, three but we keep the by default value of the first two uh, two components we represent our individual in the uh, two component that are the component that we are um, most important to uh, represent our individual and we can see the scatter of our uh, individual that is uh, represented here so the most important information that i wanted to show you is how to uh, use your principal component analysis in order to build a, an indicator based on uh, on just those data so we'll uh, go on statistics uh, the first uh, we will just uh, we will first uh, predict our principal component data uh, coordinate of our individual in the uh, in the component in the uh, principal component so we'll go in statistics and then uh, go to uh, post estimation click on post estimation and then uh, we'll select predict we'll predict score variable fit value and a residual so we will select predict and uh, for this uh, case we will predict uh, principal component 1 PC1 and principal component 2 so uh, as uh, I will uh, select the first two components because our Hagen value uh, distribution uh, using uh, Kaiser criteria uh, show that we can just use the first two components in order to summarize our, inform our information. So we'll use just the first two components in our analysis in order to build our indicators. Let us first predict our first two uh, components that are coordinate of our individual in the uh, two components. So then click on OK. And we can see that uh, two variables have been generated. Uh, there are variables on individual uh, representing the score of uh, our individuals in the uh, in the two components. So to build our indicator, we will uh, just uh, calculate a new variable that will be a uh, a mean of our first two component and the ponderation of uh, the uh, the weight of our uh, mean will be uh, the uh, the percentage of our uh, component divided by the sum of percentage uh, contained in the first uh, in the axis that will be or has been uh, choose to be used in our analysis so we, are, we have chose uh, we have chosen we have choose the first two uh, components so our indicator that I will call ID ID now so I will generate the variable called ID that will be equal to uh, our first component multiply by the weight the weight will be uh, 0 0.79 77 divided by the cumulative percentage of first two axes which is uh, 0 uh, 0 0.1990 multiply by the PC1 PC1 plus uh, wake of the uh, second component which is uh, uh, the percentage of the second uh, represented by the second axis the axis which is uh, 0 0.1990 negative uh, 0. Uh, 
divided by the uh, uh, cumulative uh, percentage of the two axes which is 0 0.1919 all this will, will be uh, multiplied uh, by the uh, PC2 so then we click on OK and we can see that our index has been generated we can uh, label it and for now we will keep it and the indicator that will have been calculated uh, as we can see in our variable uh, data can be used in order to compare our individual so that the individual which have the higher index will be the uh, household with better condition so and in our database we can see that uh, the individual that has the highest uh, index is the second individual and we can see that the uh, revenue is uh, very high compared to the other and we can see uh, that uh, uh, this this household have higher consumption and less number uh, and number of member in the household is very slow so it's the uh, household that is having a good performance in terms of uh, social uh, social level so that's it for this uh, tutorial and we hope it have uh, very well help you uh, understand how to run principal component analysis in Stera as well as uh, indicator building and if you have not yet done so do subscribe to the youtube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next application and uh, let us uh, see you uh, very soon in a new video